Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques.com. We are now moving into Unit 2 or Chapter 2 if you would like to call it that. And we're now taking a look at best subset regression. That is what we're taking a look at right now. And so how best subset regression works, or first of all, let me give you the overview overall. So in Unit 1 or Lesson 1, which is what we're doing right now, we're going to look at an overview of what best subset regression is and how it works. And then after that, in, in Unit uh, in lessons two, three, and four, it's going to be just you know making a model and doing the analysis. It's kind of similar to the steps that we did in the previous chapter. There's, there's a lot of repeat in terms of how we test the assumptions and all those things to check for multicollinearity and all those other assumptions that we have to deal with with regression. But again, <laughs> the focus is on a slightly different method. So again, if you're familiar with regression, traditional you know ordinary least square regression, it'll not be a stretch for you in this particular chapter. So why don't we go ahead now and move into lesson one for this particular chapter and we're looking at best subset regression. So if I had to make this as simple as possible, a subset basically is where you know you take something from a whole. So imagine this is all my all my variables if you will, all variables in my model and a subset, you know, let's just say I have like, you know, two different variables here of some. A subset is where you take a combination of those. Maybe you only take one, or maybe you take all three, whatever you want to call it. That's what subsetting means basically. It's like you're taking from a whole and you're taking a piece of it. And so when we're doing best subset regression, essentially what we are doing is is that we're we're taking different combinations of variables and we're trying to find out which one is which combination of variables is the, the best predictor or the best explainer of the dependent variable. That's kind of what's happening. So these are kind of the things I talked about already. So with best subset regression, you're trying to select the best combination of independent variables. And so what it literally does, it literally creates all models that are possible with the variables that you have available. And it keeps the strongest variables in the model based on whatever criteria you pick. There are several different metrics that are available that we will talk about later. Now, the thing is this, and this is my fourth bullet, best subset regression is an alternative to forward stepwise and backward stepwise regression. With forward stepwise regression, you add a variable to the model each time. And what happens is, especially like if you use SPSS, it'll select the best variable to add based on what you know improves the R squared the most. Backwards uh, stepwise regression is where you remove a variable one step at a time. So you make multiple models and you remove and you remove until you're satisfied based on your criteria. So this is the example I have in the book. I just want to try to make this clear. Imagine you're trying to look at something where you're trying to predict, you know, income. Here's an example. And what you're going to do is you're going to say, hey, I'm going to base this off of education also gender if you will so you have three variables this is your uh, model with the most possible variables but with best subset regression not only do you continue to use income as your dependent variable because remember that's your goal you would also make a model for just education and you would also make just a model with gender that's what it is and what will happen is that it'll run all three of these models and it'll tell you, hey, which one is the best predictor for income. Now, you can probably already tell that if you're running every possible model, this can get very computationally expensive. So best subset regression is you know, used when you have a small number of variables, you know, not a large sample size, because running multiple models like this can become very challenging. So often, best subset regression isn't really traditionally considered uh, at least, you know, in many contexts, it's not considered like a machine learning data science tool because, you know, in data science and machine learning, you know, they're often using big data with large data sets and best subset regression is not really going to fit that situation in many contexts. So what we're going to do now is that as we go forward in the next video, we're going to go through the steps of preparing the data and analyzing are setting up our actual models using the concepts that are found with best subset regression. We'll learn about the different metrics you can use for deciding on which variables to include and which variables to remove, etc. So, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. I want to thank you for listening. Take care.